Welcome back to the Git series of the Code Me Event Podcast, it's Greencast. My name is Gabor Sabo, and this time, well, again, I'm going to create a, an empty Git repository. As mentioned, there are a couple of ways to get started. In this case, this specific case, we are going to start with an empty Git repository, uh, and, uh, assuming that you don't have any files in your project yet. The slides, relevant slides, are in the Git intro series here in this link so you can find uh, creating a local empty repository here in windows what you need to do is uh, open the git uh, git bash so you click on the start menu and then type in git and it will probably offer you git bash and maybe a couple of other things but you're using the git bash it opens the terminal window and you can enlarge it uh, if you like uh, a larger screen on uh, Linux and Windows, uh, Linux and, and Mac, you just open the terminal and you uh, should be able to access this. So the first thing, just remember that uh, great uh, config, config list global, it will list the global configuration and they, you should have your own name and email there in, in the configuration. Now, in order to have your empty repository, you need an empty directory. So for this, we create a directory. It can be anything. Uh, so I just create a MKD app, and um, again for Windows users, especially a reminder, PWD uh, shows you where your current directory is. So it's C users, and in this case my name. And in the file explorer, I can visit the same location. So C users, my name. And now because I created, uh, I used the MKD here to create a new directory. I'll have I'll find a subdirectory here called app. If you double click, it's empty. Here on the uh, in the in the command window, in the in the bash window, in the well, it's just like a CMD. It's in the terminal. You can cd in there, cd uh, app in this directory. And the mkd here is the same command here as on Linux or on uh, Mac. It's because we are using bash, the the shell bash. Uh, on each one of the systems. So now we have an empty directory. ls minus minus l minus l uh, will show it's empty. If I type in ls minus la, it will show that dot and two dots are in there. Dot represents the current directory. Two dots, the directory just above. So they are basically are always there. So how do you get started? Uh, create a Git repository. You type in Git in it, and that will initialize the Git repository. It prints you of uh, uh, prints out some stuff specifically that it uh, created the directory dot called dot git so you can say type in ls minus la again and you will see that now this time you have a dot git directory and you can actually also look in this dot git directory if you like uh, but you shouldn't really touch it especially not now that you're starting to learn this is basically the whole repository this is the base database if you change something here then it might break the whole history and and uh, the whole system so you shouldn't touch anything here inside the .git directory we'll see where you're going to edit your files and git will just keep everything it needs in this uh, place all your history so basically this .git directory will contain all of your files at the end all of the history of your files and everything else uh, the same thing if you go to the web uh, the, uh, the file browser for some reason uh, I, I i mean i go out and come in back again and i don't see it Apparently, uh, the .git directory is some way considered a hidden directory, maybe because it's called dot, and then uh, Windows considers uh, it's a hidden directory uh, because it starts with a dot. I'm not sure, I'll have to figure it out later on, but if you are a Windows user, so probably you know how to configure the file explorer to show that uh, these sort of hidden directories as well. So let's go back to the slides and uh, just to see that you can what we have here. So we created directory cd in git in it, and then you can see using git status what's the current status of your um, git repository. So you can start type in git status, and it shows the that uh, well, well what does it show? So it shows that you're on branch master. Uh, this is the name of the default branch. You can change it later in you in case you really want it but people usually know that the master is the default uh, is the name of the default branch 
there are no commits yet so we haven't made any changes we haven't made any commit we haven't recorded any changes in that and there's nothing to commit because you have no file in this here uh, except of the database uh, git itself so everything is clean everything is uh, nice that's how it looks like so this is the the really first step to create an initial the directory the next step will be to uh, create a file and uh, add it to the git repository so that's it for now